Hydris at Casino Pier is one of the better roller coasters on the Jersey Shore. This Gerslauer Eurofighter features a super compact layout, but it certainly packs in the thrills with a beyond vertical drop and three inversions, all with just a lap bar. Find out why this is a solid ride in this review. Casino Pier was devastated by Superstorm Sandy in late 2012. This caused the park's pier to partially collapse in the Atlantic Ocean, which resulted in the loss of the park's biggest roller coaster at the time in Starjet. While Casino Pier reopened in 2013 with limited ride offerings, it no longer had a large coaster, but that would all change with an expansion in 2017 that would be anchored by Hydrus. A Gerslauer Eurofighter was the perfect addition given its dynamic ride experience and minimal footprint. Hydrus would be a variant on a pre-existing layout. Gerslauer had built five different 320 plus Eurofighter models, including Untamed at Canopy Lake Park. The number designated the ride length in meters, and the plus signified the inclusion of a helix at the end of the coaster. But the addition of the helix, which extended outwards from the layout, increased the ride's width by roughly 75%. Casino Pier wanted something smaller, so they were the first park to get the 320 layout, which has an ultra-compact 75 foot by 200 foot, or 23 meter by 61 meter footprint. This is the same model that Oaks Park would add with Adrenaline Peak in 2018. Hydrus was originally planned to be placed in the pier in the same location as the ill-fated Starjet, but the coast was instead built over land on a section of the beach that the park acquired from the city in exchange for their classic carousel. This would protect the ride against future storms. Sporting a bright green paint scheme, Hydrus looks great. The vertical lift has a real presence both within the park and on the adjacent boardwalk. I also love this coaster's logo, which is a 3D statue of the famous Greek beast extending outwards. The Hydrus name also references the constellation, which lightly ties back to the park's former Jetstar and Starjet coasters having star in the name. Hydrus, like most of the rides at Casino Pier, usually has a manageable weight. It typically runs two trains, each seeing up to eight riders like the other Eurofighters, and dispatches are usually quick due to the simple restraints. I don't have a preference whether I'm in the front or back because the ride experience and forces feel comparable to me. One major upgrade from the 320 plus models out there is that the over the shoulder restraints were replaced by much more freeing lap bars. They are pressed down pretty hard in the station, but the airtime and hang time feels extra powerful when your upper body is free like that. Plus, you don't have to worry about head banging, which is an issue in the Eurofighters with over the shoulder restraints. Once dispatched, you turn out of the station and ascend the 72 foot or 22 meter tall lift hill. Once at the top, you get an amazing view of the ocean. While this ride wasn't built over the water, it's darn close to the Atlantic Ocean and the view is gorgeous. But don't get too lost in the serenity because you have that 97 degree beyond vertical plunge coming. Like most Eurofighters, this drop delivers very strong ejector airtime, and it feels even more potent with just the lap bars is easily the highlight of the ride. After a very forceful valley, you roll through a vertical loop. The train loses quite a bit of speed at the apex, so you get some hang time here, which is always extra thrilling with those lap bars. Next is a cutback. I dread this inversion on the versions with the over the shoulder restraints, because the sudden change of direction can bash your head. Thankfully that is not an issue on this one, so I can appreciate the disorienting inversion for what it is. The train does awkwardly lurch forwards on the subsequent turnaround though, however that is the only part of the ride that isn't smooth and fully comfortable. You then glide through a super slow barrel roll chock full of hang time. This is my favorite inversion on the ride. This inversion fluidly transitions into a downward turn afterwards. You then jump into the final brake run, giving a little pop of air time. Now I know this is a more abrupt ending than the 320 plus models but I think that transition to the brake run is more enjoyable than the OK Helix finale. So what would I rate Hydrus? I would give this coaster a 7 out of 10. The Beyond Vertical Drop is fantastic, and two of the three inversions have sweet hang time. The ride is super comfortable thanks to the lap bar only restraints, and while Hydrus is short at only 1,050 feet or 320 meters, it offers a very satisfying ride experience. This is a perfect fit for a boardwalk park like Casino Pier. So those are my thoughts on Hydrus at Casino Pier. What are your thoughts on this Gerslauer Eurofighter? Is this your favorite ride at Casino Pier? Let me know your thoughts on this coaster down in the comments. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, 
and you can start subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.